When, oh, when is this fucking wokery gonna stop? It is driving me up the pole. They want to cancel just about everything. And right now, they're targeting Prince Charming. The woke brigade council culture woke dope dipsticks have got the raving ump that Prince Charming had the cheek to give Snow White a kiss while she was laying down, unconscious, fast asleep, surrounded by the seven dwarfs. Oh, for Christ's sake, what next? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel for Thursday. Uh, thank you for all of the thousands of you that have subscribed so far. If you haven't done so, please take the time to hit the subscribe button underneath this video so you can be notified every time we do something. Well, on to the subject of Prince Charming and Snow White. We all know the classic story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. She moves in with the Seven Dwarfs. One of them's called Grumpy. Apparently I resemble him from time to time, according to my wife. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, I better cheer up a bit. They go out to work, she stays at home, minds the house, does all the cooking and the cleaning and everything else. And uh, the Wicked Witch gets to her, gives her a poison apple, boom, flat on her back, half brown bread. Along comes Prince Charming to save the day and gives her the kiss of life. Well, according to the Woke Brigade, this wasn't good enough and they should have left her as it was. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Whatever are we to do? We can't have a simple classic story now without them getting involved in that as well. What's going to be next? What are we not allowed to have now? Are they going to burn all the fucking books next? It's absolutely ridiculous. I tell you, years ago, I was in a pantomime, uh, Cinderella, and I was in my 20s at the time, and they rewrote the part of Cupid to suit an adult and rewrote the script as well. You should have seen it. They put me in a flesh-coloured body stocking, stars and hearts in all the right places to cover my uh, <clears throat> a pair of wings and a pair of jock boots. I looked fucking ridiculous, but everybody howled with laughter. It was called C uh, Comedy Effect. They loved it. You did that today, I'd get arrested for obscenity because of the woke cancel lot, bloody idiots. Jim Davison, look what he did to Cinderella way back when, with Charlie Drake on the stage, Jesus Christ. He turned Cinderella absolutely filthy again. It's entertainment, pantomime, these stories are part of our culture, part of what we are, and we do them bloody well. Now the woke cancel culture lot want to cancel it all. Well, you can fuck right off as far as I'm concerned. Leave it alone, get a life, and stay the hell out of ours. Toodaloo.